what's going on guys so as you know no car is perfect every car has its downside and the Audi S3 is definitely no different um, I thought I'd make this video as a follow-on video from my previous vid where I spoke about the five reasons why I enjoy the Audi S3 um, just to sort of complete my opinion about the Audi S3 Many a times people will make a video about a car and they'll glorify the car to the point where you almost think the car is perfect when in reality it's not always the case. So what I've done is I've come up with five things about this car that rather irritates me um, and I've tried to rank them in order of least irritating to most irritating. So the least irritating thing about this car is for me just that uh, tad bit lack of responsiveness on the pedal in drive mode very low down um, the car just tends to feel a little bit lazy now I didn't notice it at first until I actually got into my wife's car which is a little Ford Fiesta 1 liter EcoBoost that car is surprisingly quite responsive on the pedal from pull away which just makes it fun um, for driving around the city as soon as I got out of that car and I got into the S3, I immediately noticed the difference in responsiveness. Now, it's not major, but because I have something to compare it to, I actually noticed the difference. And, uh, you know, it just irritates me a little bit. I guess I just expected a bit more. The second thing about this car that irritates me is um, the start-stop system. Now, this is probably a general comment but I just generally don't like start stop systems I, I get why they do I get that they probably are trying to improve the fuel economy but with my style of driving and this being a hard hatch it doesn't make much of a difference to the fuel economy um, add to that that Audi has also gone and programmed a whole long list of conditions under which the start stop system doesn't even function um, I think though what is the worst thing about the system is that if I get to a traffic light and I need to get away quickly for whatever reason the car first has to start up again and then there's a fraction of a second of delay before the car actually gets going so that just irritates me to the point where um, I actually just disable it as soon as I start the car up the third thing about this car that irritates me is the center console now the center console itself is great I use it all the time I store stuff in there but what irritates me about it is I can't open the lid just partially to slot something in um, if I do that the lid locks in position so I can't close it uh, I physically have to open the lid up all the way in order to close it I'm not sure why they designed it that way but yeah just irritates me um, so that brings me to the fourth thing now about this car that uh, that just irritates me a bit and that's got to be the the shift points in sport mode now sport mode is great it's fantastic i love it um, brings the car to life uh, adds that extra responsiveness um, that aggressiveness that wow factor but you can only really enjoy it on the freeway um, the problem is that in sport mode there's very little adaptability to throttle position um, with regards to gear shifts so first gear there's some adaptability if you drive with a light foot it will change low down if you drive with a heavy foot it will change higher up but um, from second and third gear onwards the car literally waits on you to give more throttle all the way up to about four or five thousand rpm now in city driving if you want to experience that wow factor you just can't do it because you'll find yourself sitting in third or fourth gear at four thousand rpm which that just irritates me you know um, it, that just yeah it just ruins it for me so i don't use it very much in city city driving the only way to really get around it is to put it in sports mode and then flip it over to manual mode and then you've got complete control over where the car actually changes gears so so yeah um, that brings me to the fifth thing and the most irritating thing about this car and that has got to be the location of the CD player who on earth goes and 
puts a CD player in the cubby hole. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, I can understand if it was, say, uh, a multi-disc CD shuttle, for example, where you'd pop a couple of CDs in, and you could then switch between them from, from the steering wheel. Um, that makes sense, because it's, it's not something that you'd have to interact with very often as a driver. But because it's a single disc CD player, it requires more frequent interaction from you as the driver. Um, and that interaction should be easy, it should come naturally. But instead, no, they go and put it in, in the cubbyhole. And that just, you know, that irritates me because now it means that I have to lean over to find the eject button, to find the CD slot. From where I'm sitting, from my eye height, I can't see the CD slot and I can't see the eject button. So I literally have to lean over to fiddle around with it if I actually want to make use of it. It really just ruins it for me. I love this dash very much, but I think they could very easily have incorporated the CD player into the dash with minimal effect on um, on the aesthetics and the feel um, of the whole dash. So, you know, there you have it. Those are the five things, in my opinion, that just irritates me a little bit about the RDS3. Now, even though these things irritate me a bit, it doesn't irritate me to the point where I would actually want to sell the car. Um, I definitely do still love this car and um, I just wanted to give the complete picture or rather my complete opinion about this car. So if you guys enjoyed the vid, please do give it a thumbs up. I'll put a link up to the previous video where I spoke about the five things or the five reasons why I enjoy this car. Check it out. If you guys are enjoying the channel so far, Please do consider subscribing uh, for more content and um, any questions, comments or suggestions on how I can improve my channel or my videos, please leave it, into, uh, leave it in the comment section below and yeah, until next time guys.